So I'm going to start up here. This is a new updated game room tour. So it's coming out of my stairs. I have a sign there that says board game room. I walk down, you see a few little odds and ends here for the house. Down here, uh, so I get that better focus. It's a little close here, but got some boards on the wall here. Got the Tricarian board is when I did the Kickstarter for the CE. I got a different, got a, I guess, updated board. So I decided instead of throwing with the board, I'd mount it here. The side board, um, the other side is damaged. So um, this is the what I did with the damaged board. And back here, down here, I got Snowdonia CE. It's covered by my air conditioner. It's summertime here, can get hot. I don't have it running right now, but this is the Snowdonia board. Other side is damaged. We go over to the wall here. I have two empty expansion boxes for Raiders that are um, that are uh, hanging up. They're just hung up with nails, as I've said before in the past. But you can change these out. I haven't changed these out in a while. But got Raiders and Artisans, Age of Artisans, which is the one for Architects of the West Kingdom. And down here I got a Carcassonne bag. This is when you order from uh, Hans and Gluck's store in Germany. If you order so much, they send you a free bag. And some badges from some local cons I've gone to. I've never gone to a big con, but these are some local local cons that I've gone to. Some invite-only cons that I've gone to. There. Let me come down. This is my two-player only wall. Right here. Um, my wife made that sign there. Um, this is signifies my two-player only games. So go down here, we got the uh, Star Wars Rust Black Box. Um, having some issues with it sitting there. I used to have it nice and nice and catty corner. I think my cat knocked it down. But uh, and then I got some postcards here from uh, the from one of the Raiders. I think it's Raiders. One of the one of the Raiders Kickstarters or whatnot. I think it, I think it came in the. Uh, um, the Rune Saga postcards come the Rune Saga, little Lego uh, Angry Birds that's going on there at the top. Then we got some games here. So going through the games, a lot of two, a lot of two-player games. Loving, or I do love, uh, 1916: The Making of the President. Only Tom is great. Carcass on the Castle, which is no longer uh, printed anymore. It's the only Carcass on I believe that was not printed by the original. Um, uh, designer, sorry, did not print it, but the uh, design by the original designer. Um, original designer, I can't pronounce his name, um, but this one here in particular is made by Reiner Knizia. So it uh, doesn't really follow a lot of the characters on rules. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's a two player only. There was an expansion at one point in time talked about, but it was turfed um, early on. So we go down here, some more two-player games. Some more down here. Down here. Two copies of Limes, and simply the reason for there being two copies of Limes is that uh, this game is a two-player only game, but when you add multiple copies, it exponentially grows. Uh, I believe it'll go as far as eight players, maybe. Um, maybe even go further than that. So every two players, you need to have another... Uh, 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 game. And down here, get some extras here, and then Victor and Glory, put them do Dover, and then an insert I have to build for a friend. So I go over here to the, my, one of my first Calaxes. These aren't actually Calaxes. Uh, the majority of what's in this room are what's called, uh, Nice Deads. Uh, they're from a store in Canada that's called, um, uh, Jisk, they no longer exist in my city because when Ikea opened up here uh, They kind of ran just out of the out of the area. So but before I Before Ikea existed here um, This is what I bought and then that's because Ikea the shipping was absolutely ridiculous. So over here. I got vindication um, The deluxe with everything in it And then the expansion along with the Tuk Tuk character here Fireball Island, um, uh, the expansion, or not expansion, sorry, poster, along with 
the Kickstarter in this uh, broken token tray. Um, so uh, it has everything in there, all the content except for the most latest expansion that came out after the uh, the uh, Kickstarter. You over here, Arboretum Deluxe, excellent game. Gorius Maximus Deluxe, uh, the two wood box um, games from Pretzel Games. Really disappointed that Pretzel Games doesn't do wood wood box anymore, but understandable the production costs and the cost to have the game actually uh, available to people costs more when you do it that way. Over here on the top of this shelf is my number one game of all time, Bus. This is the uh, Bus Collector's Edition. Um, so it has both versions of the game, the original, which which has this game board right here, and it has the new game board done by Capstone Games. So I put it on display because I absolutely love Bus. It's my favorite game of all time. So I put a little little display here. So you go down through my shelves here. Two copies of Tower Center because when you combine two copies, you can do up to eight players. Carpe Diem, excellent game. Uh, the graphics kind of suck on it. I have one of the original editions. Uh, broom service, of course. Um, that's a German version of uh, the Castles of Burgundy. Only German because it's twenty dollars cheaper. And if it's a language independent game, and I can get it twenty dollars cheaper. I'll buy the lang I'll buy the different language. So a lot of stuff on Fell Games there. Over on this side, if you can start my Vital, the Serta section, you'll see right here, I've got a board game book. This is uh, the board game book, volume one, excellent book. I've got volume two coming, whenever they fulfill that Kickstarter. So we got some the Serta games here. Uh, Kanban will eventually be replaced with the new uh, edition that Eagle Griffin is putting out. Um, it'll be more similar to these ones right here, uh, the uh, the deluxe escape plan on Mars, uh, CO2. Really wish that at some point in time this would be re-released in in one of the uh, Eagle Griffin versions, but I don't know when when the license is done with them because I know that they just uh, Eagle Griffin just got the license for Kanban. Originally it was with Stronghold. Uh, I go down here. We got. Paladins of the West Kingdom, Architects of the West Kingdom, Paladins of the West Kingdom, one of my favorite games of 2019. Uh, then you go over here, the North Sea Trilogy, and Rise of Tribes. Rise of Tribes is an excellent game. Kickstarter the expansion that's coming eventually. Then you come over here, Century with all the playmats, all three centuries, and then right next door to it, uh, the two of the three centuries for Gollum, the third one is just being released, and the two playmats. I'll be picking up that extra playmat. Not sure... If I'll keep both sets or not, uh, I may, only because of the appeal of the art depending, but I may keep both. Or I may sell the original set and keep the Golem, as I prefer the Golem um, edition. Splendor, with all the expansions sitting right next to it, Splendor's, Splendor's an excellent game. Um, you go down further, Russian, uh, Russian Railroads, excellent game, really wish I could find the expansion. Uh, it's impossible to find, maybe someday it'll be reprinted. Uh, London, love, love London. Through the Ages, excellent game. Survive. Can't get enough of Survive. Survive is a great game. Easy, simple, but love it. Uh, down here you got Con Concordia. That's all the content of Concordia except for one map that I'm missing. Uh, that I've got an order. Should be here this week or next week. Excellent game. Love Concordia. Uh, Navigator. It's a great game. Also by uh, Matt Gertz. Um, love his stuff. Francis Drake, can't go wrong with Francis Drake. Down here, local local company here, um, Vesuvius Media, Dwarf Seven Winter, Dwarf Seven Fall, Nocturian. Some of it's still in shrink because I played it elsewhere. Uh, I played other people's copies and and just happened to have uh, uh, not played my copy. War Chest, love War Chest. Need to pick up the expansion at some at some point in time. Uh, need to need to pick up the expansion. At some at some point in time, Airlines Europe. If you can find an excellent game, it's a bit of a stock market game, done by Alan R. Moon. Um, have ticket to ride for him. The Climber, excellent excellent game. Uh, so is King Domino and Queen Domino. I actually love Queen Domino. A lot of people might not. Tiny Epic Galaxies. I actually just sold that. Um, not a big Tiny Epic fan, so I sold that. Uh, so it'll be leaving here shortly. 
a Monopoly gamer. My son loves that, and so does my daughter. And Monopoly gamer, I think that's the uh, Mario Kart version. So I go over here to this shelf here at the top. We have Stone Age. Got a Stone Age at the Anniversary Edition with the original expansion in it. Uh, Les Voyages of Marco Polo, which is just the French version of Marco Polo, because at the time when I wanted Marco Polo, um, you couldn't find the English copy, and the French copies existed. So I bought a French copy because it's completely language dependent. All the expansions are in there. Drum roll, really underrated game. Excellent, excellent game. Love it. Lagrange, excellent game. Go over here. We got the splatter section, which is underneath bus, ironically. Uh, some excellent games here, Food Chain Magnet, Antiquity, uh, Indonesia, Duck Dealer, which is a game that is out of print right now, and The Great Zimbabwe. Haven't picked up Roads and Boats, may eventually. I know it's a big box, I have a friend of mine that has one and it's massive, the new Roads and Boats version. Um, over here we got the big box, Alhambra. What's missing, this is the special edition, so this is all the games in the Alhambra universe. Um, as you can see here, it's got Granada. Uh, Alhambra Dice, Alhambra Gardens, and Alhambra the Card Game. Missing here, which is on loan out to another local gamer, is the actual Alhambra Big Box, which has got the actual Alhambra game um, and all the expansions in it. So that's on loan. I do have it. Kingdom Builder Big Box, uh, Lancaster Big Box, both excellent games. Uh, Kalimala. I haven't heard much buzz about it, but it is, it is an absolutely excellent game. Bob Ross, you're to chill. Some great games down here. Good. What's up? Over here we got Brewcrafters, Clank, um, with almost all the expansions, but one I got to order that last expansion. Brewcrafters, by the way, excellent game. Not sure if it's still available. I think it still is. I'll go over here. Got some Days of Wonders games here, Five Tribes, excellent game, Quadropolis is a good game, Yamatai is a good game. You don't hear much about Yamatai anymore, but Yamatai is an excellent game. Uh, Tuluva, excellent game. I played the Super Deluxe, never played this version, but played the Super Deluxe a few times, love it. Bought this version because I love the Super Deluxe version. Over here, these are, this is the design house that brings a lot of the heavier weight games over here. Uh, you got Troy's, Grand Oster Hotel. Uh, Lorenzo Il Magnifico and Newton. Go down one shelf here. Seven Wonders, Milestones, Noria Stone Shrink. Cause I got that in a math trade and I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Street Kings, which was a Kickstarter, that's a signed copy there. Um, and your Whistle Stop, excellent game. Uh, Pax Premier, excellent game, uh, love it. Ordered the metal coins in the latest Kickstarter because I was missing those. Go down a little bit further. You're gonna see my cat, my cat food dish. I get some cats here. Some excellent games on here on the bottom shelf. I see the cats have been pushing my games in, so we'll do this down here. So come up here to the top of this one here. You'll have to excuse me during uh, COVID-19 stuff. I was producing face shields for local people. So these are just the rest of the uh, 3D printed frames that I have left. Um, it's slowed down a bit because in our area, our COVID, we're only getting one or two cases confirmed a day. Some days are zero now. Um, up here in Canada, in the province, in the, in the province that I'm in, so that that slowed down. But I do have those there. The, these are very easy to put together. It's just a, a binding cover, three hole punched, and you just attach it to that. I made about 5,000 of them uh, and gave them away. So up here, Ticket to Ride 10th Anniversary, Ticket to Ride the Card Game, the Alvin and Dexter Expansion, and this is one of my pride and joys here, the Carcassonne, the City, the Wood Box Edition. So this is, uh, um, the tiles in this are Carcassonne tiles and basically the center of the tile is wood and then the cardboard is glued to each to each side. Very nice. Here's some Essen tiles for uh, Carcassonne, for regular Carcassonne. So Essen 17, 18, and 19. Uh, two of them are signed by the designer. And this is just a random meeple that there was an extra one in a game, so I put it there. Uh, Two-player Carcassonne that was only available in Germany. It's a tin. Nothing special, just smaller tiles. It's the regular Carcassonne, just smaller tiles. I really, I really like that it was in a tin. Really cheap, it's like 15, 15, 15 bucks or something like that. 
So I really, I really liked it. I bought it. Carcassonne, the dice game. Uh, and up here is a Carcassonne meeple uh, shaped wood cutting board signed by the designer Carcassonne. S top of this shelf here, back up a little bit. Santorini, that is the Zeus edition. And the that's the Zeus storybook that comes out of it. The Zeus editions were ones that you, I think it was 250 or 300 dollars to get it. Or if you did a group pledge of 25 copies, you got a free Zeus. I did a group pledge, I ran a group pledge, and I ended up getting the Zeus edition free. It's numbered. Uh, this is a print that came with it uh, that you can hang up. I don't know why I didn't hang it up, but it's there. And that's uh, signed by, I believe, uh, the people at Roxley Games. That's his, that's a postcard that was in it. My Carcassonne Big Box. Uh, it's got a lot of extra stuff in it. Um, way beyond what that big box came with. This is the big box three or four, I think it was. Um, plus a bunch of like the schools in there, the, uh, the school, the Carcassonne, the school mini expansion. That's there, a bunch of other stuff. Lords of Waterdeep along with uh, the expansion and Pandemic Season uh, Pandemic season One or Pandemic Legacy Season One. So down here's my Carcassonne collection. I believe I've got 18 or 20 standalone versions of Carcassonne. Uh, so you'll see, there's a lot of different Carcassons there. The Wheel, New World, Discovery, uh, Winter Edition, uh, Hunters and Gatherers, Hill and Dale, uh, Safari, Amazonas, Gold Rush, Sosis. Amazonas, by the way, is my favorite out of all of them, followed by Gold Rush, and then I'd have to go Sosis and then probably original. And the Winter Edition is alternate art really not really different, although the Gingerbread expansion I think is a little bit different than any expansion that was ever available with the original one. Also got Card Cassone, a card version of Card Cassone, to go with the Card Cassone dice. And then Galaxy of Trine, which was a... They, they build it as the space version of Card Cassone. It didn't really do that well. There's a uh, Kickstarter for the expansion that is wildly late. Uh, a, lot, but a lot of people have asked for refunds. Uh, I never backed it. Um, said some bad feelings about it. Never backed for the expansion. Figured I'd pick it up retail if it ever came out retail. But you read through the comments and just tons of people asking for refunds. And they're actually getting them. So kudos to the company. They're actually they're actually doing it. Exoplanets, Card City. That's an Albin VR, I believe it is. So you go down here. And this is a bit of my Tasty, tasty Menstrual section, kind of. Um, so Altiplano with the expansion. All the content for Orleans, including all the mini expansions and mini tiles. Uh, Genties, Yokoyama, Yokoyama, not the Deluxe. Just never bothered to win the Deluxe. Guild of London, a lot of people don't like Guild of London. Uh, it's a great game, but iconography heavy. You need to, you need to have a cheat sheet to be able to play it. Chimera Station, just the, just the regular. Uh, the Orleans is the Deluxified version. Uh, it's the first Deluxified version of anything that... TMG did, which is why it's not labeled Deluxified, but it is fully, fully, fully Deluxified. Scoville, uh, Kings of Iron Steam, Steamworks, uh, Gold West, which is an excellent game. Coliseum Deluxe, uh, beautiful game. I don't know why people don't like this version of it. I actually don't mind it. I mean, the days of one, one one is great, but I don't mind this one either. Uh, baseball highlights, Castell, and the interesting story behind Castell. I bought Castell. Um, and then Rodney Smith of Watcher Play did a um, took the bag as a bag in Costello's oversized, and he wore it on his uh, on his head to say that it was kind of like a fez type thing or a, or, or a hat. And uh, Renegade, because of that, ran a contest, which was take your picture uh, with with wearing the Costello bag and enter in a contest, and then and then uh, Rodney Smith would randomly choose people to win that co uh, the pictures. To win any game in Renegades catalog, which is how I got Altiplano, because I actually won. I was one of the two two people that won, or three three. There were three of us that won, and I ended up choosing uh, Altiplano. The Colonist, great game, takes a long time to play. Imperial Settlers, excellent game. Alien Frontiers again, excellent game. Fifty First State, Porto Negro. I actually have that up in a math trade. Um, likely going to be gone by next week when the math trade is done. Kingsburg, the new the new edition. I have no problem with the new art. Some people like the old art, and I, I can see why, but uh, I have no problem with it. Lewis and Clark, great great game. The discoveries of uh, Lewis and Clark, another great game. We'll go down to the bottom of the shelf here. 
Viticulture uh, and Tuscany, the original ones, um, with all the metal coins and everything in it and all the expansions. Reworld, which I just bought recently, a uh, board game store up here in Canada. I was selling them for five bucks a piece, figured for five bucks, why not? Uh, trains and all the expansions and Trains Rising Sun and everything all there. Uh, ticket to Ride. In this Ticket to Ride, there's a lot of Ticket to Ride. I don't have it all, but I have most of it. So one box is all the is all the boards and everything, and one box is all the pieces. I'm missing a couple of the map packs, but not all. Uh, you know, there's maybe two map packs that I'm, I'm missing. Ticket to Ride Marklin, which used to be rare, but they released Ticket to Ride Germany, I think it is now, which is essentially the same thing. They just changed the geographic area of to be all of Germany, whereas this is just one particular part of Germany, I think is what the difference is between the two of them. I think the rest of it plays relatively the same. Ticket to Ride New York, need, need to get London. Coal Baron, another excellent game there. Let's go up to the top of this shelf. We got your What's Your Game area here, which uh, got some great games here. Railroad Revolution, which doesn't get as much love, but it's a great game. Um, Steampunk Rally, just did the Kickstarter for the newest one. Wildcatters, Ave Roma, Colbert and the Card Game. Haven't played that yet. Um, bought it specifically because I love Colbert and figured the card game probably good. Dune, of course, the trilogy here. Here, of, uh, I believe it's Ken Follett's work. Uh, great game. Great game there, or great games, sorry, not games. Quirkle, gotta have, gotta, gotta have Quirkle. Crisis, one of my top games. I believe it's sitting at number five. It's an excellent game. This is one of only 52 uh, copies of the original non-deluxe version. Kind of weird that if there's a non-deluxe version of it and that there's less of them, but the non-deluxe option in the Kickstarter wasn't doing well, so they shut it out and just did, did the deluxe versions. And I was in it at, the, at, the, at that price for the uh, regular version because at the time for the first Kickstarter, they had multiple tiers. And they were locked out for every tier, and it was it was each tier for the deluxe was increasingly need more money. There was there was a couple of tiers that were within ten or fifteen bucks of that one, and people would jump out every once in a while, um, jump out of those tiers, and you could jump on. So I was in for the regular version with the anticipation that somebody would jump out of the, one of the other tiers, and I'd pick up one of those tiers. But when they shut it out, I was like, eh, oh, I'll keep it because it's one of fifty-two. Uh, the Ruhr, this is a bit of capsule games here. Welcome to great. Great flipping, right? Excellent solo. It's one of the only games I'll play solo, believe it or not. Down here, Gaia Project, Dominant Species, Space, uh, Corp 20, 20, sorry, 2025 to 2380. These are all excellent games here. Some UE games here. Nushvard, um, I think I pronounced that right, probably wrong. That's a great game, just played that recently again. Uh, Gates of Loyang, Le Havre, Agricola, Cottage Garden, all excellent games. Caverna with with the expansion, the reason why the expansion is listed. You'll, you'll see that not a lot of expansion boxes are separate, because a lot of times I can fit them in the box. Sometimes I can't fit them in the box. In this case, I can't because I have Planos in with that version of Caverna, so that's why it's sitting outside. Feast of Odin, um, Charterstone, uh, come down here. Vikings, this is an excellent game here that doesn't get much love, uh, Vikings game. It's a great little Rondell-ish type game. Euphoria, Egizia. Uh, Shifting Sands, the new one that just came out on Kickstarter, that's the deluxe Kickstarter version, which I don't know how much is difference between that and the retail version. I think maybe uh, a few things, if maybe a double sided board, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Carson City, the 10th anniversary, I believe it's the 10th anniversary. Bunch of games here. Um, uh, Terramire that I still haven't played. The Key to the City of London, I'll only grab that because it's like 20 bucks. I love uh, I love my key games. Uh, key Flyer is an excellent game, Keep is an excellent game. Key, flow, key Flow is an excellent game. I only got Key Market because it was a, a reprint. I haven't I haven't opened it up yet. It was a reprint Kickstarter. I backed it. Uh, Zularetta, which has all, all the expenses available. Um, it's up in the math trade that I just spoke about recently, so it may not be here coming soon. Transamerica, love that game. In these two cases here, um, a lot of small games. I'm not gonna open them up, but there's probably between the, in each one, you can hold, I think it's, um, count the side here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so 16, 16 cases uh, in each one. So the potential is that there's 30, there's 32 games in here, although I have some of my Paco games, which are little tiny 
bubblegum packages of uh, games uh, by Chris Hardy. They're, all the games are, th are named with three letters um, and uh, you can fit a bunch of them in there. So I'd say in this little cube here I've probably got about 50 games. Uh, all small, small, small games portable. Over here we got some queen, some some queen, some queen games. Perfume, which is apparently supposed to be a rework of Fresco. Um, a bunch of these I picked up cheap uh, down here. Franchise is an underrated game. Love franchise. Franchise is a great area control game. If you ever get a chance to pick it up, do. Copenhagen. That is the deluxe with the acrylic tiles. Great game. So we're going to go over here to this shelf. I'll go up here. And we have Scythe. Scythe is my number two favorite game. I have everything related to Scythe. The only thing I'm missing is the metal coins because I ordered the metal coins, the metal uh, mechs. Uh, I recently saw the metal mechs. I may end up buying one set of metal mechs eventually just to put them on display. Don't know if I'll get all of them. Uh, but everything, everything's in there. I have the, In that legendary box, I've got the broken token insert. Uh, both versions of the Broken Token Insert to, to fill it up. All the cards, all the promo cards, everything. I've got the modular board. The play mat is uh, somewhere else, but it is here. Uh, that's a 3D printed um, uh, factory that I 3D printed because I have 3D printers, of course, uh, you know, being on that channel. Um, then my little scythe. Just pick up the expansion, should be on its way here eventually. Um, that's the scythe art book. Now, this box is empty. The only reason why I kept it is because I actually backed the original Scythe Kickstarter. Uh, and that is a numbered box for the Art Connoisseur, which is one of the reasons why I did it. You can see here. I'll zoom in here. You can see the number on it right there. That's the Art Connoisseur. And down on this shelf here, got some great games. Teotihuacan. I think I pronounced it wrong. I probably um, should be ashamed of myself considering uh, I'm Hispanic. Latino, and I can't pronounce that, but that's that is what it is. Coimbra, love, love Coimbra. Um, uh, Zolkin, great game. Preda Porter, probably pronounced that wrong as well. Dinosaur Island, excellent game. New Frontier, excellent game. Haven't played Rugasa yet, picked it up because well, almost all of what Capstone puts out recently has been nothing but stellar, so I tend to just buy it now. Uh, Wildlands, excellent game. Um, Martin Wallace definitely did something good here uh, with, the, with, with the dudes on a map Euro style and it's excellent. I've got all the maps for it. I think there's another map that may be coming out soon. Never bought the Helter Skelter one because didn't see a point in it. Expanse City, excellent game. Council 4, excellent, excellent game. Um, I've owned, I had the original one um, and I like the remake better. Um, I know Simon uh, did, did, did minis for it. The minis work okay with it. They're, they're, they're nothing special, but it doesn't really detract from what the actual game is. Like some uh, come on games that I find, for me at least, that the minis detract from what the actual game is or or whatnot. And, you know, that's just my own finding. I mean, there's some people that absolutely love come on games and great great for them, right? Uh, Majesty of the Realm, that is done by the same designer, Splendor. Great game. Um, didn't hear much buzz, buzz with it other than when it first came out, but it's an excellent game. Comes with, ironically, comes with poker chips as well, little tiny poker chips. Uh, Anachrony, with all of the content that's available currently outside of the Kickstarter, because I, I did kickstart it, uh, the, the expansion with the big, huge box that's, that's coming. It has an insert in it that's obviously going to be useless when the new when the new version comes out. Dracarian Collector's Edition, with all the content in it. Dracarian's an excellent game. Um, Railways of the World, excellent game, love it. Um, I think that's all the content available for Railways of the World uh, for the new version. Um, um, so any of the older maps I don't have, I think because most of them have been re replaced. Irish Gage, I do have Ride the Rails coming, it'll be here I think this week or next week. Age of Steam, I won a contest on um, Facebook, didn't even know, it was the Eagle, Eagle Griffin we ran a contest. Um, for their Kickstarter that you basically responded saying that you were going to um, be attending. I guess attending was just to remind you to back the Kickstarter. I did it and apparently I want a copy. So I, that is a conductor pledge with all the maps. I bought the one extra map that wasn't that didn't come with it and I'll be picking up the other map that's coming out. I think it's the Heavy Cardboard and Bankrupt Detroit one. Uh, Steam, which is the other 
which is the Martin Wallace version of Age of Steam. Or the story behind it, you should actually look it up. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting how Martin Wallace was uh, the person that came up with Steam, and then how Steam is not credited to him anymore. Or sorry, Age of Steam is not credited to him anymore, and how Steam became available, how Steam Steam came about, and how where was the world came out of Age of Steam and Steam. It, it's a very interesting story. You should read it. It was finally solved, or you know Martin Martin Wallace and John. Bauer, Bauer, I forget how to pronounce his name. Um, they, 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 they came to an, an agreement as to how it was going to work. And I apologize, by the way, that I'm using my onboard uh, uh, audio from my camera. I probably should have put on one of my mics, but I didn't think about it until just now. Santa Maria, excellent game. Um, hard to get in North America. Just got the expansion coming. to me able to get it. Heather and Nail, great game. Uh, back on to Santa Maria, their games are harder to get. The company that, that makes them just was able to pick up the Magnificent had to get it in French uh, because I don't know when it's coming in North America. Actually, I believe it's coming the end of this month in North America, but I'm not 100% certain. But uh, I will end up um, um, uh, be I'll I'll have the French copy and I'll be okay with it. I just got to print out the English rulebook. Dice Settlers, not a Kickstarter version. Pipeline, excellent game. Over here, Rise of the Gaji's excellent game, Transatlantic excellent game, Endeavor Age of Sale excellent game. That is the Kickstarter version, along with the new expansion Kickstarter. They haven't played the new expansion yet. Down here, all the Azuls that are available, including the latest uh, mini expansion. I guess I'd call it with the overlay trays and Reef. And come down here, we got Chai Tea Deluxe, Tiny Tiny Towns, Dragon Boats of the Four Seas, which was. It's not a relatively well-known game. Um, it's okay. Uh, the only reason why I'm keeping it is because uh, out of all of the games in my entire collection, it is the only one that I'm listed in the rule book because I was a playtester. I know something small, but I'm listed in the rule book, so I kind of I kind of like the fact that I'm listed in the rule book, even if it's just as a playtester. Um, March of the Ants, all the Kickstarter deluxe version there. Um, you go further down this way, we have Gizmo's excellent game, Form Trajan, which that. Meeple that was over there by the carcass and stuff actually is the next one from that. Uh, Rap Gods, which was a uh, a game that was sold recently. Um, it was kickstarted and then they had a sale and the, it was a very interesting story that uh, the sale was in support of Black Lives Matters initiatives and um, uh, all the proceeds from the sales of not not the Kickstarter but what was left after the Kickstarter because this was an after the Kickstarter would go towards Black Lives Matters initiatives. Then Cephalophore Games, the people behind uh, Gloomhaven, stepped in and essentially matched the matched the money. So I, I picked up a copy. Uh, Taj Mahal, an, an older game. Space Space, excellent game. That's all the content available for Space Space. Uh, it's a Wonderful World, the Kickstarter version, but not the high-end Kickstarter version. It just comes with a couple of extra trays. Crown of Amera, excellent, excellent game. Go down here. Dice Throne Season 2. The uh, chest, great, 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 great game. Looking forward to season one chest when it when it comes out. I think it's coming out soon. Um, this is Snowdonia, the master set. Excellent game. Down here, the other forbidden games that I have, I demo for forbidden games. Uh, so these are the games that were sent to me to to demo local, locally. Um, Raccoon Tycoon, Railroad Rivals, Extraordinary Adventures, Pirates. Excellent games, pirate miniatures there. Um, Villagers, um, that's an excellent game. Didn't know about it, went to a friend's house, played it, bought it right away. Uh, the flow of history, underwater cities with all the expansions. Uh, with all the expansions, excellent game. Um, haven't played it with the expansion, haven't played it with the layered boards. I'm looking forward to that when I get that to the table. Black Angel, excellent game. Um, Kashgar, I can't pronounce it, that's an excellent game. Ilios, this is a game that it's relatively unknown, or not really relatively unknown, but it's only really available to get when you're in Europe. Um, it is only in French. It's a language independent game. Excellent little little uh, little uh, little game. And a friend of mine that went over to France and picked, picked it up for me. Um, Clans of Caledonia, Kickstarter edition. Glen uh, the Chronicles, sorry, Glenmore Two, the Chronicles, um, Kickstarter edition. El Dorado, the Thieves of El Dorado, Kickstarter edition. I backed the. Um, the uh, latest expansion in the big box that should be coming soon. Go up to the top of this shelf. We got brass. I got my little 
root plush that I got for the last Kickstarter. Probably should pick up the original plush. So I got brass uh, Lancashire, brass Birmingham. Then I have a 200 set of uh, game of uh, iron clays here that I picked up, and then I've got my 200 wood box. Wish I would have done the 400, which is why I got these two. Uh, but it's got my cards at the top. And then I modified it slightly at the bottom. I bought some extra chips. I don't know if I can do this one-handed or not. Yeah, here we go, I got it. So I modified it slightly because I ended up getting a sleeve of, uh, of uh, 2Ks and I modified the inside of this to make it match the uh, what the uh, 400 chips are. This and this match the 400 chips exactly. Um, signed card from Martin Wallace. Roxley button here. And then in this iron clay box, 80 chips and the 80 chips that are left over in this is what was left when I upgraded this because I essentially I had 200 chips and I and I upgraded it to get this so this is what's left after converting this into the, what the 400 box would would be I'm gonna tighten this my camera there we go and of course the the versions of brass are the ones that have the uh, the uh, iron clays in them so down here tapestry I some people don't like Stone Mario games, some people do, I do. Um, I love Tapestry, Tapestry's a great game, can't wait for the expansion. Wingspan, excellent, excellent game. Have the expansion, haven't played it yet. Um, I 3D printed some nice, I have, I have 3D printers of course, um, and I 3D printed some 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 extra bits. Fantastic Factories, excellent game. Era, uh, haven't played it yet, just recently got it. Grey Ocean Trails, an excellent game. Maracaibo is my game of the year for last year, I've got 14 plays logged. Or sorry, 15 plays logged since um, uh, December 20th of 2019. It's funny, I did my game of the year, uh, my uh, geek list, on December 13th, and it wasn't listed there, and then I played it a week later, and I went to town with it, and it's, it's probably my top 10 now. Uh, Blackout Hong Kong, another great Fister game, Age of Empires. This is this game here, I got a smoking deal on it. Uh, Somebody listed it on Kijiji, which is up here in Canada. It's essentially Craig's Place. I think it's owned by Craig's Place. Um, um, they had it listed for uh, uh, 160 Canadian, and I lowballed them, just thinking that if I went, if I if I offered them 80 dollars, they would come back at 130 or 140. Would have knocked off 20 bucks. Great, I would have accepted it. They came in at 80 bucks. What was listed was literally only like that. It came with metal coins and one extra expansion. When I got it home, it literally had all of the content ever made for the game period, including extra score, score, score bets. Could not believe it. It's uh, basically to buy everything separately in Canadian was three, four hundred dollars. Uh, Fresco Big Box um, got that uh, uh, for in a Secret Santa that was run last year uh, through um, that was through uh, Board Game Spotlight. Um, the, the Secret Santa Crystal Palace picked it up in a math trade last time. Down here, Cooper Island, excellent game. In the Hall of the Mountain King, so so on it. I need to play it some more before I make a final decision on if I like it a lot. Um, it's not bad. Uh, Isle of Cats, excellent, excellent game. That's a Kickstarter edition with all the extras and everything in it. Hans of Teutonica, that's a French version because again, it's language independent. And needed to grab it. Uh, Die Tavern de Tiefenthal, that's because it's German version. Um, and the reason why it's a German version is because although the English version is readily available. The English version in Canada was selling for, for 55 plus tax, Canadian dollars. This, I got it for $30 in language independent, why not? Root, um, all the content for Root, Kickstarter, the only thing that's not Kickstarter is that I'm missing two of the card trays, and I think that the card trays that I got with it, I didn't even put include in the box, that I did the latest Kickstarter. Monstrosity, which is from a local, uh, Board game, board game company. Uh, that's so. That's that's monstrosity there. Men at work. Another pretzel games. This is when I can play with pretzel games. Is that I wish I would have kept the wood box. I understand why they didn't because of the cost. Because still, men at men at work was a lot cheaper to get than it was to get the other two that are that I showed you before. Um, but you know, it's it's it sucks. But you know, I, I can understand the logistics behind it. Uh, I think it's Circadians, the first light. Uh, it's a sh it's. A game by uh, um, uh, Greffel Games or whatever, uh, and I, I love their stuff. Cartographer Tales, love that game. Anchor, love that game. I actually demoed for um, Asmodee at one of the local cons, and that's the game that I had to demo. 
I didn't get the game free. I actually bought it. I liked it that much that I demoed it. I demoed it for two days over, I think it was eight or ten hours that I that I did it over those those two days. Liked it so much that when it was released, I bought I bought I bought, I bought myself a copy. Really, really simple game. I don't know why it's listed. This 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 is kind of weird. I thought it was weird when I was demoing it. It's listed as a two player only game. Which is why that two is there, which is the same graphic when they changed Jaipur, and I do have Jaipur. It's actually in those uh, that, those cases of games that I showed you earlier. Um, so the new art version of Jaipur has that same two because it is a two player only game. But Ancor is not a two player only game. It literally plays one to four, and it's not like you know I, I can understand if they put a two there if it was teams like like if you played two 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 uh, two sets of teams. But you don't. It's literally it's a four-player game that you play on your own. So I'm not sure where the two comes from. Maybe because it's better at two, but I find it works great at at at, at more than more than four. And literally, say you know, see two to four. Oh, sorry, up there, two to four. All right down here, Suburbia. That is not the Kickstarter version. I was really dumb and didn't back the Kickstarter version of it. So that is the uh, regular one. I paid way too much for it. I'd uh, love to get the Kickstarter pieces, but because it's shipping to Canada and the exchange rate is another $130 or $40 to get it. It's just a little bit too much. Then up here, Court of the Dead, Mortar's Call, and my only uh, pop figure, which is the Star Wars The Child. Now over here in this section, I run local group buys. So these shelves here, so basically what is, I run Kickstarter group buys and I run uh, group buys on online gaming stores. Uh, so these shelves here are what people have ordered through Kickstarter that haven't picked up yet. So they're, they, I put them on these shelves here and they picked up, although these are the Isles of Cats are the empty boxes for mine. I just put them over there. Sorry, I just realized that my camera has a, I forgot my camera has a 27 minute limit uh, or 29 minute limit. So it's going to be three videos sliced together apparently. So this is the area here that uh, um, I have uh, where I put the Kickstarter group by. So this is owned by other people. Same thing with down here. This stuff here is owned by other people. This is other group by section. Eventually I'll be into this area here. But this is other group by areas I have to dust down here apparently. Got my laminator here uh, because I, I, I laminate things. Of course, got a TV down in the room. Um, that's for me to play. Sometimes I'll come down here and sit at the table and watch a movie. And a lot of times the the uh, um, TV is here for me to do like a watch it play or whatever right before you know game it for uh, for for me to be able to watch it. I put the plushie back here, and you flip around here. And this is my table that I play games on. This is a game table, so I'll do a really quick demonstration by pulling out a piece here. This was locally made. I, this was made by a local guy, so. I'll take up the centerpiece. You know, see, it's a little bit. I need to vacuum it. Um, when I was making the face shields, um, I was making them over here, and the cracks in the table, all the dust and everything got down there. So I've got to vacuum it. I usually got to vacuum it after the uh, the uh, uh, or right before I play games. I, I have to vacuum it. It'll it'll come out nice. Uh, this all this residue is literally from when I was making the face shields. I was making them on this game table here. Um, I have this. My clip here because during COVID, um, I was doing a lot of online gaming because of course you couldn't game, in, you couldn't game in person. Although COVID is still going on, but again, our cases are low here, so our 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 local area we can do we can do gaming um, or we can do gatherings at the ten without social social distancing locally. So I can actually get my games grouped together. But when we weren't able to get our games grouped together, we were playing online on Tabletopia and on on uh, board game arena and on steam so this was what i was using i plop myself down at the table bring my computer and my laptop down here plug this in put on my headset and game so it was a way that we could game and it was my regular game group that i gamed with once a week that's how we did it and we did it for three four months like that every single wednesday or yeah, it was every single Wednesday or every single third, uh, every single Wednesday. We we did that for three four months, and then finally when they lifted the restrictions and they basically changed the group rules because of the low case counts that that we were getting, we we actually went twenty days with zero cases, and then all of a sudden we just had the last three or four days, the last five days we've had three days with cases or four days with cases, and the rest of it with not. So it's six days, four days with cases, two with not. So. 
So they opened everything up. So that's 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 how I gamed until then. Now never back to gaming. And ironically, I don't game here um, with that game group. I do have another game group that I got to restart. That games every every two weeks, and that's the game. That's the games group that comes here. That's a different games group. But but the regular games group I game at somebody else's house, and you, we use his games. Occasionally we use some of my my games. We use a lot of his games, which is. A lot of the games that I pl that are here, some of them I haven't played my actual copy, but I've played it numerous times, my friend's copy. So some of these are untouched, simply because of the fact that I played it at the other person's house. But I bought them because I because I liked them, and eventually, you know, I wanted to make sure that I had them if I ever wanted to be able to play them here. But so that is a tour of my games room, uh, and once this fills up here, and then I go over to this section here, I'm gonna have to start trimming down because that's all the room I have. And I'm going to basically have to, you know, I'm basically going to have to start uh, trimming down and replacing games as I want new games. And, the se and a section I didn't show, which I've showed in uh, other is this little corner. That's basically a cabinet with extra baggy sleeves. Uh, uh, there's there's a bunch of different 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 stuff there. Uh, uh, containers from 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 the dollar store to put in games that I don't want to 3D print inserts for. Um, um, there's probably two cabinets or two drawers full of full of full of sleeves. That orange peeking thing out there is actually the uh, sleeve for Anachrony. Um, I got baggies at the top here. Got a couple of extra games here. Uh, Scotland Yard only because I have to go through the pieces there. Uh, that is an old version of a, a local Monopoly game that was created that somebody gave to me. Uh, it's not bad. It's about 30 years old, so I took it because it's a great thing to have for for uh, for, uh, for history wise. And then also over in this corner, because humidity can get bad, I have a meter that tells me what the humidity is, the humidity is in the room, which is at 54%. I turned off my dehumidifier to do this video, so you wouldn't wouldn't make the sound. So it's a little bit higher than what it should be, and the temperature down here is 22.5 degrees Celsius. So it's a tour of my games room. I thought it was going to be quick, but it obviously wasn't. So hope you enjoyed that.